Hey guys, a farmer rung me again this week. He's seen three foxes in the day and they're kind of come and sort them out because this farm starts lambing, I think, next month. So I said, first fine night I'll come. And tonight's a brilliant night, you know, it's a full moon, no wind, it is a cracking night. I'm using my 243 again and I've got a Pulsar C50 on the top. I'm using a PBIR laser. And as you can see, I'm an armchair shooter tonight. I'm a bit hutched up, but yeah, I'm quite settled here. A good friend of mine gave me this chair, Al. Cheers, Al. <laughs> and uh, I'm still using the recon trigger system off Scott Country. It's the first time ever tonight I've ever shot a fox off sticks in my life. I've always used a bipod around bales, so it'd be good to see how I go on. But it is, it's uh, very steady, this. I am confident. I'm not shooting no further than 170 yards tonight because uh, any further is unsafe, it's on top of a hill. I can only shoot like down this valley. If they're in this valley, I can shoot on the top of the valley. Can't shoot, it's unsafe. So yeah, we'll see how we go on. I've just put my Fox Pro out about 100 yards and uh, I'm just waiting now for everything to settle back down again. I'll, I'll try calling. Because that's the two foxes on a wall, you know. They've been there all the time. I think they're mating. A dog and a vixen. This wall's about 260 yards away. And uh, I can't take the shot. <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's an house behind, so I can't take the shot. I can only shoot down this valley. So I'm going to try and call them soon. But uh, I'll have to be quiet, obviously. These are the two foxes through the C50. The wall is about 250 yards away, and the fox in front of the wall, that's probably about 200 yards away. But I can't even think of taking a shot here. You know, the rifle's unloaded. As you can see, there's an house behind and a road. So I just enjoy watching them for now. Yeah, it's a dog and a victim. And, uh... I think they're actually feeling quite sexy. I'm going to see if I can call this uh, one of them. I'll use the Vixen on it. This fox did come in nice to the Vixen on eight, but he stopped at the top of the valley. And I wasn't just happy with this shot, so I thought I'll wait to see if he does come right up to the fox bro, because down in this bottom is 100% safe for a shot. As you can see, my plan worked just perfect. Nice one, first one down. <clears throat> Went far. I bet you're only probably 100 yards. But yeah, first one down. quite get used to this armchair shooting, it's quite comfy. It did go quiet for about half an hour, but these three deer turned up, so I just watched them through the C50. They're probably about 140 yards away.
This fox actually moved as I took the shot, so as fast as I can, I shoot again, and job done. Nice one, another one down. Right. That again, we're only 100 yards, but, excuse me, when you're shooting them close, it's hard work, I've seen you shoot them at 200 yards. Take the shot, though. I can't, it's unsafe. It's just gone to the farm building. And it's gone, that. I've not brought the FH35 tonight, I'm using my old Pulsar XQ50. This spot is actually five year old now. It might even be six year old. But you know, it's been a good spot with us. It still works brilliant. It is now a good hour later. And to be honest with you, I was going all gormless and falling asleep in this comfy chair. And then all of a sudden, this third fox shows up. It's around 45 minutes later, and another fox turns up. I can't believe it, there's a fourth fox here. And I think he's heading this way. So, yeah, I'm not gonna try and call, because I think he's seen me. He should come towards the centre of the other dead foxes. Because this time, you, you know, their mind's only on one thing. Yeah, he's coming. One. Yeah, brilliant. Four down, I can't believe that. Uh, that's a cracking night, you know. Uh, I didn't expect shooting that many. So, yeah, let's go and pick them. Well, here they are. Quite a good result, really. It's not often I shoot four, but I have done tonight. Yeah, so yeah, job done. Here is the end result of the night. And it's four big healthy foxes all sorted out. But I'm going to be honest with you. I never smile when I see big numbers of dead foxes. Because I think as you all know now, I do respect them. But I do also know that this farm, if these foxes hadn't have been sorted out, this farmer would have had problems lambing. So I want to say thanks for watching. And I will see you all soon.